Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new NARS Hot Tryst Cheek Palette. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this product, then just keep watching. Alright, so the major facts about this palette. It is $59. You can get it right now on the Sephora website and the NARS website as well. It is a limited edition and currently only available online. This is a six pan cheek palette that features four blushes and two highlighting powders. So let's go into the packaging of this guy because I'm not gonna lie, that's probably one of the main reasons that I bought it. So it has a beautiful spiked cover and of course it says NARS on it. I'm not a very edgy person, but something about this packaging just I really feel some type of way about it and then you're going to open it up to reveal a big mirror and six cheek shades as you can see the first row is of the highlighters and the last four are of the blushes so I do have some swatches for you guys so you can see them they have a shimmery finish to them not a ridiculous shimmery finish but definitely an opalescent look to them they are not matte by any means I think you have a really pretty range of colors you have a beautiful peach you have a pretty pink a magenta and almost a red color copper color and then of course you have the two highlights now the formulation of these guys are awesome the blushes are really buildable they aren't super duper pigmented but you can get a lot of pigmentation from them through layering which I think is very important for blushes I think the color range is awesome this caters to both light and deep skin tones and you can make it work for you really no matter what skin tone you are these two shades in particular are quite deep and they're going to look awesome on deep skin tones and then of course these two shades are going to look awesome on light skin tones. I did manage to fit all six colors onto my cheeks. So on this side of my face, I started off with the shade Swindle, which is the shimmering pale pink, and I put it all over my cheek. And then I went in with King's Road, which is this light highlighter color, and I put it on this side of my cheekbone. It wasn't quite as Bam as I thought it was going to be but it is still a very pretty subtle sheen to your cheek on the other side of my face I put the shade Bowery which is a shimmering coral and I put it on this side of my cheek now what I really liked is that I could really tell a difference between this cheek and this cheek I could tell this was pink and I could tell this was coral which is very important because sometimes with blushes they all kind of look the same on your cheek but I could really tell the difference with these guys I then took the shade friction and I put that as my highlight I was initially afraid to use this as a highlighter I felt as though it was going to be too deep but it actually really worked and it is super shiny it is that BAM it did leave the slightest cast on my cheek but no reason for me not to wear it kind of thing it is really gorgeous and really really shiny and I feel like layering it with the lighter highlight is going to work for my skin tone very well but this highlight is also going to work very well on medium skin tones because I did want to play with the last two I did place the shade untamed which is the shimmering magenta on this cheek right on the apples and then I took the last shade adrenaline which is a raspberry and I put that on the apple of this cheek I kind of looked like a clown but I did want you to see how it worked those were very pigmented on my personal skin tone you definitely have to be careful with them if you're of a light complexion but it really does work applying the lighter shade all over the cheek and then the darker shades just as the apple color if you're into blush. So I look like a crazy lady, but like I said, I could really tell the difference in each shade on my cheek. Even though they are shimmery, they didn't emphasize my texture on my cheeks at all. And they just look really natural on my skin. They're very buildable and they're very blendable and there's nothing more I can ask for when it comes to blushes. So this is a very quick review because this palette is awesome each shade is awesome it's going to work for a lot of different skin tones and it's just it's just pretty to look at so if you're interested in buying this palette I would definitely pick it up I'm rating it a 10 out of 10 I am super impressed with it I always love NARS palettes their face palettes they're always so amazing and this doesn't fall short and yeah, I don't know. This is a super quick review. I just really like it. It's really good. Did I mention this palette was limited edition? If I didn't, this palette is limited edition. When you swatch these, they aren't going to be the most pigmented, but that is how the formula is supposed to be. It is supposed to be buildable and blendable and have a sheen to them. It does exactly what it is advertised to do, and so for that, I don't have any complaints. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Remember to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, just let me know down below. I'd be happy to get back to you. Anyways, have a great day guys. Bye.